And welcome back to Nidal and Tobago. This is your son 007 and this thing right here on Synergy TV, your host and presenter for Chutney Soka News. And right now I want to introduce a very important segment on Chutney Soka News. It's called the Foundation Segment. It's where we introduce a foundation member, a foundation individual that all started this thing right here in Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, it, takes, it gives me great pleasure to introduce my dad, Mr. Ras Nanku Singh, as my first foundation a uh, singer or member on Synergy TV right here. So Ras, what's up? I want to say sitaram and namaste to you. Same to you. And it's good to have made it. And it's good to have you having me on it. And um, you're quite right with all what you say because um, it's true. Alright, so let me ask you one thing one time. Let me get to the nitty gritty of this interview because people have been dying to know what's going on with you. They've been asking me for years what's happening with uh, your dad, what's happening with Mr. Ras Nanku Singh, what's going on with him, if health wise he's alright, if everything is good with him and stuff. And so tell the people what's going on with you. They want to know if you're still singing, if you if you you know if you just cool it in the singing, if you take a little break or you'll be coming back into the singing. Explain to them in your own words what's going on with Mr. Ras Nanku Singh. Yeah, well, um, I, I wouldn't say I stopped singing, I, I could sing still, but I stopped singing like establishing, you know, with band and abroad, shows, contests, I had enough of these things I would like to say, and, um, but I'm still singing, you know, when I make a garden, when I'm taking a bath, I'll sing my bhajans, spiritual songs, and um, the film songs and things, I have all those materials still, I could still sing. But I give it a little distance from, you know, I stay away from it because, to be frank, the music going on in the front direction, not that I don't like the music, but, um, you know, it have its people. The music, the road, the music take now, it have its people for that now. Not that I don't like it, but I do, I want to go into that because I had, you know, I have over 50 years in the singing world and um, I've taken a little back. Yeah. All right, so as you take a little rest, I know you're more into Ramayana and Satsang. I mean, I could actually, you know, tell the, the, the viewing audience certain things about you. Yeah, my dad. So I hear every day of my life. So I know what's going on with you. But I want you to let them know what's going on, you know. But um, as you take the break in the music and you're more into the religious aspect of things and stuff and things, you see yourself in the future even coming back to sing with a band um, internationally or even locally? No, I, I, um, I think I'm doing that. I had, in, had in the time, you know, because it's something 62, I think, to 2013, which is a past a half a century steadily. All the top, top bands are all this frontliner, you know, and I feel I had enough. And I feel it's good that to reach that distance. I was in contest with Master Nabahal, you know, I made three finals. And um, I, I have done well, to my, to my knowing, I have done well. So I say, let me give way to other people now, you know, it's have the youths coming up, let they, let they come up. And we, are, as the old heads, take a back rest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, that's why I decided. But I want to ask you, you know, like how you, um, it's from since 1962 you're singing, you actually took a break from the singing from in 2013. To 2013. But that's what I say. Yeah, from 1962 to 2013, you actually take a break in 2013, right? And yes, Dad, so I want you to tell the viewing audience and all your fans and friends, your family, loved ones, everybody who actually don't really see any music anymore, never got the opportunity to speak with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you know, to let them know some of the bands that you um, frontlined with, you know, like uh, be a frontliner within your years. You know, went by from 1962 when you started until when you actually uh, left in 2013. And you, you, you're really left. You, you take a break. You, I, I know you take a break. You will be back someday or the other, some or the other. Trust me, I know this. So just name some of the bands and stuff and things. Yeah, well, um, a band by the name of Saman Mahal, that was a band from Hometage. That was in what year? 1962. That the band I started with. Right. I was from nine years. Then I leave that band, that band had a problem and I leave there. And I go on with Gaia Tunes in 1977, 78, Frontliner. Then I went to um, the Netherlands Frontline. Then I went to Middlebox Frontline. I went to the Rampasar Frontline. I went to a band they called the Zetas. 
Right. That was a newly formed band at that time. Frontline. Then I come back with Gayatones. Same thing. Frontline. Then I, I went back with Mellowbugs. Same thing. And I end my career in 2013. We're up being, being a frontline front now with Mellowbugs. Yeah. Right, okay. Well guys, you heard it, a lot of bands that he you know, sang front line with from since 1962 to 2013 and he's still here, you see him, he's well, all well and fine, riding bike, probably later on we'll see him take a little ride on the bike because we bought some big bikes for him to ride all over the country, all, well all over South Trinidad and stuff to keep fit, see foot big and strong and whatever and stuff. And so Ross, I just wanted to tell the people, you know, like um, let them know what they could, if they could look at to, to anything forward to you in the musical arena again, or whatever you want. I don't want to put words in, in, in your mouth. What to tell them? You, you, you let them know in your own terms. You know, if they could look forward to seeing anything at all from you again, whether it's coming back with a band, whether it's singing solo, whether it's recordings. I don't know. You, you explain to them and tell them because they'll want to hear it from you. Well, um, I, I don't feel like going back. In, in, in the band. You make me sad day boy. Any band. No, I talk any truth. I am um, I as I said before and I'll say again, I feel I had enough. And you know, it's our thing they call reality. That hits everybody. No one and nothing lasts forever. Right. So I as a man reality comes my way, which I recognize, so I st I just pull out. Um, but I have nothing against the music and the bands, I always wish them well and I always listen to them. I, when they're on the air, on the TV or whatnot, I give my support to all of them. But I do feel I will come back because I, I had enough, as I say. You know, I enjoy my time there. Tours abroad, competition-wise, I enjoy myself. I, a person, always enjoy what I do. So I do believe I'll come back. I will go in a Ramayana and sing one or two bhajans and in a year and all these things. No problem with that. But to say step back on that stage day with band and this thing, I ain't think I'm I go in and I could do it, but I don't think I will do that again. All right, well there guys, you hear, you heard it from Mr. Rasnan who sing my dad, you know, um, you will no longer be coming back into the international scene in the music thing again. I mean, um, I have known my dad all my life. I was sung with him and I know there's a lot of fans and people that would miss, you know, Mr. Rasnan could sing in the musical arena, but as he mentioned, you know, um, everything is for time, everything have its time, everything have its season. But I want to ask you one personal question now, on a serious level, big man thing. What do you think about the music right now, the Bollywood singers right now in Trinidad and Tobago, and how you find the Bollywood, because you, you are a Bollywood champion, eh? You are Kisha Kumar, Mohammed Rafi champion, I mean, if I could get you to get the opportunity right now for you to sing a little piece of um, Kishore for them and a little Rafi, it would be nice so they will know your versatile because as a matter of fact, for those of you who do not know, and I with my dad right here, Mr. Rasnath Kusing, he could, you know, vouch for this and, 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 and give all you the, 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 um, the, the, the ups on this that dad didn't start it off singing as a Kishore Kumar singer. He started off as a Mohammed Rafi singer. Am I am I talking speaking it? Yeah. Right. And he was switched over by Mr. Kapil Gayadin in 1978 to a Kisho Kumar singer because they already had a Mohammed Rafi singer. So that is something you guys didn't know and you know now. And that ended up coming to be one of the best Kisho Kumar singer in the Western Hemisphere. So the Bollywood, the, the Bollywood style, the Bollywood singing, the the the, the, the people that coming up singing the Bollywood song. I mean. And in, 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 in your own term, in your own good way, what you think about the singing right now? Because, I mean, you, you left a legacy, uh, myself, um, Ian Singh, um, Raymond Ramnarayan, Anil Beam, Indar Kanhai. These are the guys that followed through with the Kisho Kumar singing and the Bollywood singing. But um, what you think about the guys after us that coming up to take over this generation? Well, let me say the third, because you guys are the first. We are the second I just call, and what you think about the third generation coming up into the Bollywood music? Well, I, I, I feel it be kind of good attempt, you know, um, to follow the, the, the old ahead. And um, they're doing good because you listen to them, and I will always give them the support to them, because that is the music of today. Right. You understand? You can't do nothing else. That is the music of today, so I feel they're going good. And um, they have to keep it up, you know keep practicing because there's always room for improvement, you understand? In all in everything. 
So I, I, I support them. All right, well, guys, you heard it from Mr. Rasnath Kusing, and I um, uh, want to close off this segment with my dad right now. And, um, you know, I want to say thanks for coming on on Synergy TV. We home in your house. You know, the cameraman could probably show around a little bit. You know, this is where Mr. Rasnath Kusing resides all his life. I born and grew up right here in a small town called Rambert Village on the outskirts of San Fernando. And Dad, I want to tell you thanks for coming to do the program and stuff for taking the time off. I know you're a man have to ride your bike and watch your football and your cricket on a Sunday and whatever and thing. So thanks again. I know the fans will love this and love seeing you and everything. And any words of wisdom for your fans and thing knowing that, you know, it's not every day it's be on TV and it's not every day you just get an interview to be on TV. Um, it's a pity though. You know, because these are the guys that really started off this, you know, the, the, the Bollywood music, the the Ras Nanku Singh, the Kailash Kaulisa, the Prem Chan Jagdev, Sukhdev Jagdev, Nazi Mulkan, you know, um, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, well, I will encourage the, the fellas to keep it up, you know, and do study any other thing or anybody with what they see and what they think about the music because everybody has a different view. But music is a general word. When you say music, you mean all music. So I, I will encourage them and give them my full support, you know, to continue and improve themselves. You know, as they go along, improve. Don't stay one way all the time, always improve them. Because it's a room for that. Yep. So that, that, that is about it, I feel, you know. I support it. All right. Well, there you go, guys. You know, Mr. Ras Nanku Singh, and um, just wanted to come and into you know interview Mr. Nanku Singh on Synergy TV. And just to let you guys know, you can view my program every Sunday at 12 noon, with a repeat at 4:30 on a Tuesday evening and 5 p.m. on a Friday. So remember it again. It's 12 noon on a Sunday on Synergy TV, with a repeat at 4:30 p.m. on a Tuesday and 5 p.m. on a Friday. So you guys can stay locked to Synergy TV because we have big things in store with Chutney Soka News. You don't know your host 007 Andy Singh. That was Mr. Ras Nanku Singh. We'll be back. Yes, welcome back to Nanti Bego. This is your son 007 Andy Singh for Synergy TV Chutney Soka News. And um, yes, we have to pull the curtains down on this program. It is season two, episode one. Your host 007 Andy Singh. And uh, we're going to pull on the curtains on this program for this afternoon. Hope you guys enjoyed my very first uh, segment. I was kind of a little green, you know, young. Now coming back into this, you know, TV thing after some years. But, you know, it will get better as time goes by. You can look out for new features and new um, artists coming through every week. I'll be introducing all the Chutney Soka artists. We'll be going in into the Chutney Soka season just now. So, you know, we're going to be pumping live. want to say hats off to my cameraman, Mr. Shane Ramlochan. Thank you for a wonderful job, sir. And, you know, we always begin the scene. You know what I mean? So, just remember, every Sunday, right here on Synergy TV at 12 noon, Chutney Soka News, your host 007 Andy Singh. And you can see a repeat on a Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. And on Fridays at 5 p.m. Chutney Soka News, your star, your station, your superstar station, right here, Synergy TV. Andy Singh, we're out of here. Thank you so much. God love you. <laughs>